Coach Benio to me is a mentor and a friend. He's always there to encourage us and he's never angry or he never seems angry with us. He's just such a wise person, I feel. He's like the greatest coach ever and he's like your best friend and he'll make you feel really good about what you did and what you accomplished. He's like a relative, basically. He like pushes you to do better, helps you when you're doing something wrong. He knows how to motivate from the biggest person to the smallest person to try their best and just keep going. He's an expert. He's an expert in running. He's got a passion for the sport. I couldn't like imagine cross country without him. He gives us hope that we can always get better. Without Coach Benio and kind of his knowledge and teaching of both cross country and life, I, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Coach Benio is pretty much the most inspirational man I've ever met. I'm writing all of my college essays about him and he's just so meaningful in my life. Coach Benio is a role model. He's a father figure. He's the best cross country coach I've ever known. The best coach I've had. The greatest co cross country coach ever. He just makes you feel warm inside and it's always a blast to be around him. He's really inspirational to me. I find him as a person to look up to and someone that I hope I could be like when I'm older. He's just always motivating. He's, he doesn't really get mad and if he does, he'll always like tell you what he has to tell you and then he'll make a joke about it at the end to like lighten the mood. He's just a very nice person and expects highly of us. Coach Benio was a mentor, uh, a friend, and obviously a great coach. Been very close with each other since I started. And uh, he's really been a good model for me going f just through my life as just a person having the same kind of characteristics and creating people with respect like he did. Coach Benny to me was probably my first real coach. He was the one who initially showed up and said, okay, let, let's do this. I'd had other coaches in the past, both for you know, sports like soccer and paintball, but never have I had or had one since that was quite like Coach Benio. He was able to look at you in such a way without saying anything, and you knew you had either done really well or really bad. There was never a need for him to scream obscenities or other things. Coach Benio is one of the most inspirational people I've ever met um, and got to work with throughout my high school career. He's always positive, uh, motivating, and he's just really a good person to have been able to spend time with throughout the four years I was in high school. It's when we were doing a practice run and I couldn't really finish it because I didn't have enough like strength in the beginning of the season. He walked with me up Germantown and we talked. It was really nice. Coach Benio. Mm. Well, he's an amazing athlete. He's our coach. Still our coach at heart. Always will be, forever and always. He's always there for you. He, like, he never lets you down. He's a family friend, an excellent coach. He's really a nice guy and he's an awesome coach. He stands at the like, hills or the hardest part where you're like ready to give up. And every time you're like passing the hills or right there, you're like, going and you're like, speeding up. And then Coach Venue is always, keep going, you can do this, move your arms, move your arms. And he motivates you to kind of like keep going when you're ready to like just stop. He taught us to like stay strong and to push through the hardest moments. And he's just the kind of guy who's always there for us. Coach, uh, he'd always tell us to, hey you guys, let's get ready to get warmed up, go do this run. We'll come back, he'll be waiting for us, tapping his foot. Come on guys, a little bit quicker. He's more than just a coach. He's a really good friend and easy to relate to. Coach Benio to me is like a second father. Coach Benio, he's a friend, he's a coach. He's just fun to be around. Coach Benio is a very inspirational person and one of the greatest coaches that I ever had. Sometimes he'll come out and he'll go run with us for our warm-ups or our actual runs. He'll hike up to the top of a uh, fire tower and take this little shortcut that he always likes to take and say he beat us. But we'll make sure that we never deviate from the path too much. He always 
tells us that he believes in us and we, we're re representing the school and he wants the school to look good and he wants cross country to look good. He believes that we can do that so we want to look, make him look good. Coach teaches us that's an important to uh, have good character and have good qualities. I've learned to be a better person, like treat everybody how you want to be treated. Like I know there's slower teams out there, we treat them with respect. Represent your school, it's basically what he taught me. He taught me the pickpocket trick. It's where you go to pick your pocket and you go to shake the person's hand. It's um, arm technique for running. When I think about coaching others or mentoring others, I try to think about how Benya would have done it. He's still influencing me today because I, I still run. I've, well, not that I've been running the whole time, but I, I, I uh, shh. Coach affected my future by kind of just helping me along, along my path as a high school student, helping to motivate me and keep me focused on what was important in life, my, my school goals, and making sure to treat everybody as family. We always go to uh, league meets and uh, we go to district meets. He always, he always says a few, uh, few words that kind of boosts us, kicks us in the butt, and especially for my brother here. One of the things that always stuck with me was that in the beginning of the season, Coach was always really quick to just kind of say that he didn't know how fast and how hard you ran on the, on the uh, course. You know, he could only take your word for it. And it was when you got home at that night and looked in the mirror that that was what told you if you ran hard or not, if you could look yourself in the mirror. And as I've gone through life, that's kind of been the thing that stuck with me most because I could go into work and I could work hard or I can spend time with my family and I could try and put in the effort. But really, I'm the one that knows how much effort I put in to what I do by looking at myself in the mirror at night. As long as you tried your best, that's all he wanted. If we're running up a hill, he'll like tell us to just push through it, it'll be over with. And then like, we'll, ha we'll tell him our problems and we'll just say, like pretend it's like a hill, just push through it. If you push yourself hard enough, but not too hard, then you'll be what you want to be. He is a very impressive coach. He made me push myself until I couldn't go anymore. He's always like in a good mood. He's always positive. He's always getting us like pumped to go run. Like most kids would be deathly afraid to go run, but he makes us want to just get out there. And no matter what, he'll never give up on you. No matter how great or bad you are, if you have a bad race, he always sees the best in you. He taught me from probably freshman year to always give your best to something and always do whatever it is you could to be the best person that you could be. And every day I thank him for it because I know that I wouldn't have made it to where I am today without what Coach has taught me and what he did for me as a cross country runner. Coach inspires us by telling his stories of when he was a runner. All the stories he tells us, his jokes, every little thing on the bus that uh, he tells us on the way to our meets to kind of get ready for our strenuous run. He's the kind of guy that we always want to go to and he's the kind of guy that we just all want to be around. Last year when we ran against Blue Mountain in Shenandoah, um, it was the meet I first passed out at. <laughs> and coach took a little golf cart ride with me back after that happened. At the very end of the race, the varsity race, when we were cheering on the disabled kid from Shenandoah, that was very memorable. When we were all cheering on that last Shenandoah person, and every time coach retells that story, it just it means a lot to me, because it shows that he takes a lot of pride in us. I remember crossing the finish line, and he was always very nice to other teammates. We were from Shendo and he was always very welcoming and he even came up to me and said, you missed a course record by five seconds. I can remember that date and I always remember how nice and inviting he was to our team when we came to Jim Thorup. He got two vans, we just went to states to watch it just to get the experience of it. It showed us that we can be a competitive team and go far with him because he, he's obviously the kind of coach who would take a team to states, but and he showed us that we can be more than just just there to run, that we can have success as a team. This one time on the bus, 
I accidentally sprayed too much perfume. I'm sorry. He said, oh, I needed to show my wife that perfume. My favorite memory of Coach is the first day of practice in the summer at the lake. He called my house. He asked me if I wanted to run. I said, sure. He told me to come up to practice up at the lake. And I was in Etni shoes, khaki shorts, and a polo because he said we were just going to be cleaning the course. And then he pulled a fast one on me and said that we were going to go run the course. So I had to run it in that. Oh, it was rough. But it was a good experience. My favorite memory of coach was probably after my senior year. We happened to win the league title, which as a senior, it was great because we hadn't won one since I was there as a freshman. And just the, the joy that we could share together and I could tell how happy he was for us as a team and us as runners. The back of the bus after the very last uh, run of the year coming back into town down the mountain and having him sing this. I don't know how it would start. I can't remember that, but somehow we always ended up singing Beatles songs on our way back from this in the bus. <laughs> we were sitting on the bleachers waiting for this, the race to start. And it was kind of storming, like rainy a little bit. And we were just kind of waiting for everything to pass. And uh, coach was sitting a few rows back from me. And all of a sudden the clouds broke and the sun came out. And right as the sun came out, somebody next to us goes, oh, here comes the sun. And the second they said it, me and coach at the same time go, da, 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 da. They're like the Beatles song. And he just looks at me and goes, we've spent way too much time together. We were singing Beatles songs on the bus. <laughs> I think that was one of my first times I've heard uh, Octopus's Garden. <laughs> Still one of my favorite Beatles songs to this date. <laughs> My junior and my senior year um, to run districts, he gave me these white gloves to wear, which we joked around that they were the lucky special gloves because it was so cold out, and both the years he brought them for me. So it was just, he just looked at people as individuals and not just somebody who ran cross country. One time I remember, uh, he wanted us to fill up the back of his car with rocks. I'm not sure why. He said something about he got new suspension. And he yeah, was, he wants to update his landscaping. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't too sure what he wanted to do. He's like, yeah, yeah, just pile them in there. It'll be good. It'll be good. So we pile them in there. And then we get, <laughs> we do our run, and then after the run, he's like, okay, let's take them back out now. Our, my suspension's better. You know. <laughs> I think he should know that people really respect him. I cannot think of anyone who had a negative opinion of of Coach Benio. He needs to know, know that the team like really, really loves him. Like we are there for him. Like we never want to let him down, and we just love him. I think he deserves to know that he is very loved by all of the team. The team loves him very much. I think the coach should know that everybody on the team loves him, and they wish that he would stick around forever. He pushes kids so they do better. He's great. He's just like the best coach. He always is there cheering you on. We all like love him. He's like an inspiration for all of us. He is always there for us. He's the kind of guy who you just want to be around. The team thinks very highly of him and they see him as a very motivational, good coach and the team wouldn't be the same without him. I'm glad he's still doing it. And I'm glad he's been doing it as long as he has. I'm glad he's still got the program going um, well after I've graduated. I just hope that he knows how valued he is to all the people that he's gone to work with over the years and how many lives he's touched. I think that he needs to know the most that not only was he our coach but he was a friend to all of us. I know for a fact that he is one of the greatest guys that I've ever met. And I know if I needed him today, I could go knock on his door, I could call his phone, and he would be there and he would say, you know what, Adam, why don't you come over and we can talk. We, he'll, he's always there for, for you and to listen. And it, it's, it's a great thing to have a friend that'll listen to you and be there for you whenever you need him. 25 years, it's amazing to, to be able to do this for 25 years straight. Felicitaciones and 25 años. Congratulations, Coach Benya. I hope you stay around when I'm in high school. I just really want to thank him for always being there for me because I'm always injured. 
I've never finished a season with cross country, but he's never stopped believing in me. He's never stopped thinking that I can't get better. Coach, you're, a, you're an amazing guy. Nobody will ever be able to fill your shoes Definitely. years to come, ever.